High voters of the Norfolk Plymouth County Senate District. My name is Gary Innes. I'm a candidate for state Senate in the following cities and towns. Quincy, Hanover, Rockland, Abington, Holbrook and Precincts 3B, 4B, and 6A in Braintree. My platform positions are as follows. I support all law enforcement officers. Our police don't need to be reformed. The lawbreakers are the ones in need of reform. If you don't show respect to law enforcement officers, don't expect to be treated with kid gloves. I'd like to see the state of Massachusetts expand our vocational training schools. We currently have about 50,000 enrolled in grades 9 through 12. Approximately 125,000 would like to enroll. Our Votex schools are the best in the nation. Our first school was opened in 1908. We are in dire need of plumbers, electricians, auto mechanics, auto repair men and women, HVAC techs, etc. When our Votex last had a major expansion in the 1960s, the applicants typically had B and C grades who displayed an aptitude for mechanical skills and electrical prowess. Today, you need to be an honor roll student to get in due to the increased competition in these schools. Since 1993, the Votex have required their students to pass the MCAS to graduate. The dropout rate is less than 1% in the mass Votex, much lower than the traditional high school's average. 45 different shops are available in these 38 state schools. Each school review their shop's needs based upon the desire of the students with local employment opportunities. As juniors, these students get into a co-op program where they work in their field of interest. This continues into the senior year. One third of Votex students graduate with a skill. The other two thirds go on to college, lessening the student loan burdens on the students and parents. The South Shore Votech in Hanover is in the process of a complete rebuild. They currently have 650 students enrolled. The goal is to increase this to 1,300 by increasing the daily student population by adding night school and summer classes. The night classes will be adult oriented for retraining purposes to increase wage growth opportunities. The Blue Hills Votech in Canton needs to go through a similar change as, as Hanover. My next major platform is small business. Unlike our current lawmakers, I believe that all small businesses are essential. These courageous folks rent out vacant storefronts up and down Main Street and all cities and towns, including Hancock Street here in Quincy. There is a $525 annual compliance tax that small business pay for the pleasure of collecting sales and state tax. How crazy is this? These are our tax collectors. They need to be treated much better. There are numerous fees that are slapped on the small business owners by the folks on Beacon Hill. I would propose legislation to eliminate all these onerous fees. Lastly, I believe in parental rights in our schools. The parents need to be a partner in the school curriculum. Indoctrinating them with liberal policies is completely unfair to these young kids.